if you come and you're drawn by the words you hear here, hmm, God is also behind them. Bhagwan is behind them. So whatever it is that suits your taste, hmm, you may find satisfaction for this. But inquiry is unsparing. For me, I have described the inquiry like looking into a mirror, like coming to look into a mirror. There is no delay in the reflection. The mirror is never busy. It never tells you, look, you are not beautiful enough, you don't come. It never says, I am too busy right now, so much reflecting to do. Right at the moment you look, in this moment you will see. Such is the nature of the inquiry. As it matures within itself, it comes like this. Sometimes we walk towards the inquiry, but the room is in darkness and you cannot see your reflection. But the mirror does not fail. So something here drives unrelentingly to rub your face against this mirror until your seeing is confirmed. Those of you who feel in your heart to persevere, in spite of what may seem to be initially some resistance, confusion, of course they will come. Of course resistance will come. Of course uh, doubts will come. Of course it will come. It's healthy that they come. Because we have been somehow absorbing so much nonsense hmm? by dwelling inside this farm. You pick it up. You cannot avoid it. No sage even could avoid it. Rama and Krishna, Christ, Buddha, they could not avoid conditioning. It took place. And at some point it stirred up and it came to the surface, like it is taking place with us here. But your transcendence is assured. You have to get over it. If not in this body, it must be on another body. I don't know. I am hoping in this body, hmm, on this day, in this retreat, something is wiped out. I have nothing other than this to share with you. I have no other interest, having found this. In the past, I had innumerable interests. Now I have none. And mine becomes silent, happy, open, and infinite. I don't even know what is mine now. Mind, self, heart, all the same thing. So something, it might be regarded as a little bit of madness, I don't know. Some people think you are crazy to abandon everything you have worked for to come back to emptiness. Can there be such human beings who are willing to not tie themselves to any concept? But at the same time, to not dismiss the concepts, understanding that they are part of nature's play, but simply that you are not tied to anything, making use of them, but not being used by them. <laughs>